And New Zealand is probably one of the most difficult places to be black in this world. Imagine you are black, but you're not allowed to be black. That's literally how it is over there. This has been happening for years and to finally be able to speak up about it and feel like I'm doing something to help, you know, it means a lot. It's actually a human issue. It's not It's not just uh, something which is isolated in America. The murder of George Floyd hit us all. It hit us really, really hard. We as black people or as African people here are a super minority. We tend not to have the advocacy that other groups who have been here long and who have bigger communities have. don't have that kind of consciousness that I feel that some other countries that are sort of battling with it um, very in front of your face have. Black lives what? Black lives matter! Black lives what? Black lives matter! Black lives what? Black lives matter! We're constantly told like we're not like the USA. This is, you know, not like what's happening in America. At least America is able to name the elephant in the room, be able to address it. Um, it's, it's worse when you're still living in complete denial. We address um, the Prime Minister directly and, and the government and we said uh, we're not going to stand for this um, and we oppose this because we don't want to end up um, like the United States. I think I stand with everyone else in being horrified at what we've seen but at the same time uh, we need to show that and express that solidarity in a way that makes sure we're looking after one another as well. The rules are there for a reason. Uh, we want people to follow them for a reason, and this was a clear breach of them. We organized this protest in literally the space of 48 hours, and 20,000 people came out all through social media. Showing up is one thing. The real change is going to start after what we do from today. The kind of escapism that we indulged in in the past wouldn't suffice anymore. Um, that we had to reckon with what was happening um, and we had to take a side. I'm going to be someone who helps with this or I'm going to deny it. But there was no more, no more status quo as an option. We will be watching you in the weeks and the years that follow, and we will hold you to account. Stay with me, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter.